Welcome to your Nexus 2 help guide. In this video, I will talk about the new features within Nexus 2.8. In Nexus 2.8, there are several new features. Nexus can now output plug and gate segment centers of mass when you run plug and gate. Nexus 2.8 can also be used for running the conventional gate model too. New Python scripts are also included for easier modeling. Improvements have been made to the iMeasureU interface. The step width and limp index are now calculated as part of the gate cycle parameters. You can now close trials using the MATLAB and Python offline SDK. Nexus 2.8 will automatically notify you when a firmware update is available. And there are also several updates to other Vicon software. To view the list of new features, Go to the Help button in Nexus and select View Latest Help from Vicon.com. Segment centers of mass calculated by the plug-in gate model can now be visualized and exported within Nexus. To output the center of mass, go to the properties of the Process Dynamic Plug-in Gate Model operation. Show Advanced, and then check Output Segment Centers of Mass. Run the operation. I can now see the segment centers of mass in the Modeled Markers section of the Model Outputs. I can also see them in the 3D workspace. The conventional Gate Model 2, or CGM2, was also released with Nexus 2.8 and can be executed within Nexus. CGM2 is a series of biomechanical models which build upon the conventional Gate Model. CGM2 is an open sourced model developed in Python 2 by Dr. Fabian Lebeuf and partly funded by Vicon. In order to run CGM2, you will need Python 2.7 with your preferred Python suite. If you have no experience with Python, it is recommended installing the Anaconda Python Suite, which will install all the necessary packages for CGM2. You will also need to download the CGM2 installer from www.vicon.com downloads. For further details on CGM2, please watch the tutorial using the conventional Gate Model 2 in Nexus 2.8. Several additional Python scripts have been added to make it easier to develop models within Nexus. These Python scripts include Nexus Angles, Nexus Segment, and Nexus Trajectory. You can find these scripts at the following path. These functions are specific to Nexus 2.8. In the next version of Nexus, you will need to specify the appropriate path as functions may have been added or improved. I will briefly show you an example script which uses the Nexus trajectory module. In your script, you will first need to set the appropriate file path, which you can see in the first three lines. The next part imports the Nexus module. And then I import the Nexus trajectory module. After creating the Nexus object and acquiring the subject name, I will use the Nexus trajectory module to create the LPSI and RPSI objects. I use the read function to get the LPSI and RPSI data. I use the LPSI and RPSI to calculate the sacrum position as another object, and then use the create function to create the model marker. Finally, I will populate the data in Nexus using the write function. I can run this script by using the run Python operation. I have already specified the script file path. You can see the sacrum marker has been created. And I can also see it in my modeled markers. There have also been several improvements to the IMU interface and workflow. The most noticeable difference is the IMU interface has been removed from the file transfer batch processing window to its own tab in the communications window. 
Within this tab, an import section has been added, which adds the ability to import CSV files from Lightning into Nexus. If you look at the IMUs in your system tab, you also see there are additional collection modes available. For a more detailed description of the new IMU features, please watch the Using IMUs in Nexus 2.8 video. The step width and limp index is now calculated as part of the gate cycle parameters. To run this operation, load a trial that includes a complete gate cycle. Add the gate cycle parameters operation to your pipeline. And run. Pipeline ended. You can now see the step width and limp index in the analysis outputs. You can now use the MATLAB and Python offline SDK to close the current trial without saving. To do this, you can use the command vicon.close trial. Timeout is in milliseconds and specifies the length of time during which the function tries to run. Here is an example of a Python script with the close trial command at the end. I can run this script using a pipeline I've already created in the run Python operation where I've specified the location of the script. Pipeline ended. You can see the trial has now been closed. Nexus 2.8 will now automatically notify you if any of your components are running on out-of-date firmware. If you have any devices that are not up-to-date, an icon will appear in the toolbar indicating that a newer firmware version is available. If you click on the icon, a new window will give you the option to close Nexus and launch the firmware reprogramming tool. When the reprogramming tool opens, it will show all connected devices and their current firmware version. By default, all devices will be checked to be reprogrammed. Click Reprogram to begin the reprogramming process. When the update is complete, the firmware version column displays the updated firmware version. When you close the firmware reprogramming tool, Nexus 2.8 will reopen. There has also been several updates to other pieces of Vicon software. These updates include an updated Vicon video viewer, a new Vicon Pro Eclipse, and a patch release of Vicon ProCalc. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at